this is the end of my journey with Haiku. For the time being, until we get another season. But Jesus, what a ride has it been? Like, I've had so much fun reacting to Haiku, I think. This has been my favourite series I've reacted to, like react, doing reactions to. Like, my favourite series, it's definitely, yeah, no, it's definitely my favourite, one of my favourites I've been reacting to. Um, and it's one I actually think I get the most reactions out of, it's like, normally I'm quite, well, it's quite normal, chill, static guy when I watch my anime, um, do my commentary throughout, but yeah, with Haikyuu, I actually generally, like, yeah, it just generally gets me hyped, I'm motivated, I love, love the show, I even watch reactions to the show, because I think it's just fantastic, and watching people, I think the enjoyment I get when I watch reactions is then talk about characters, like, Oh, like, oh, Suki, oh, that Suki guy's such a dickhead, oh, he's such a bully, he's like, oh, just you wait until you get to season three, I can't wait to see what you think of him, and I'm pretty much getting like that, and I'm watching reactions, and I can see why it's so popular, but I've had so much fun reacting to this, you guys have all been amazing, you've all, um, the support for this series has been mad, I remember when I first started it, I was getting like 100 views, and now we we hit 1,000 as, as it uploads, I think we might have to do it for the second day when it's uploaded, which is crazy, uh, the Patreon support has been mad, and yeah, all the love for you guys for IQ. Can't, I really can't generally thank you enough. I've generally had so much fun with this journey. Um, I definitely want to do like a little podcast with some people I know to talk about IQ and just how much how great a series it is. But yeah, no, generally, one of the best series I've reacted to. I've had so much fun with it. I never expected to love IQ as much as I did. I went into it expecting good things, but I never expected to come out with as much love as I do for the series. Everyone is precious, the character development in the show is insane, animation, the crazy matches, everything was so good. Yeah, it never never really felt unrealistic or just like too anime, which is the best all <laughs> weirdly. It's just like, oh, it's still, oh, mate, it's so good. It's such a good anime. But yeah, our journey has come to an end. This is the last reaction for a while. Um, I do plan on doing Kuroko no Basket, maybe Room with the Wind at some point. It won't be any time soon because the seasonal anime is sort of stacked, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, let's continue. Let's jump into this last episode, guys. Let's jump into this. So fucking cool. I love how they could, they could defeat their own move. That's just the best part of it. They killed their own baby. It's like a bit of Hunter X Hunter. So well shot. <laughs> I love how everyone's watching the game. <laughs> it's so cool. Nakama. Can't wait for that. Oh, that match is going to be insane. I'm so glad we won. One thing I really like about IQ matches is every victory feels, feels so well earned. Sometimes you get anime, it's like, we've progressed past this point. They should be doing better, or they should have smashed this team. Whereas IQ finds a nice balance of when they do defeat teams really quickly, and when they go against a good team, it feels well earned. Whereas I think some sports anime, they really struggle that line. Where like sometimes you even make really shitty opponents really hard for them to beat, and it's like, have you progressed since season one? Whereas I feel like the team's come so far. Now, if you watch season one of our team and watch the last season, it's the amount of change. After this match as well, I think Tanaka is going to be the next ace. Yeah, so good. Mate, so good what got me last episode, mate. Mate, that match is going to be hype. They played really well. I really love the opponent team here. I think they did development very well. They all worked fucking hard. I swear every opponent in height, the, the opponent teams have done so well at this show. <laughs> Look how exhausted they are. <laughs> oh yes, I was just about to say, I hope we get to see, I want to see his reaction. I like his more stubbornness. I like to get his opinion. He's he's one of those characters where like oh, he's very harsh, but it's like you know if you, you see him praise or shocked or seeing him even alone just watching the game, it's just like, I don't know, I love it. Is that the 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 of the the chef at the end of him? <laughs> Everyone's watching my boys. I know, the chair squad did such a good job. Hmm. 
That's a good compliment like from a harsher crowd. I love how they give the time to the appearance like this. <laughs> I love them them so much. Goggy on me out for the win. <laughs> Do baby cry show. You <laughs> I'm not doing it. I refuse. The show's made me tear it way too much. Bastard show. <laughs> Remember it's season two that Oh my boy you. He did work hard. Oh, that was so satisfying. Ah, oh, that's such a good receive. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when a man's even the guy that impressed is probably most addicted to volleyball, will be becoming more addicted to it. Oh, I was hoping little we might have seen little giant or something watching the game there. Do, do. I really enjoyed him being there. I hope you get to see him again. Whoa, don't diss my boy Nekma. Jeez. Just you wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's me found on the side of here. Mate, don't insult Nekma. That is fucking awesome. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Killed him, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, that was so sick shot. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's like the party party of end of a One Piece arc. That change of attitude from when we were in. Oh, I love the uh, uh, third year's fan game and bam. They literally get to keep playing. I'm going to be so sad when they go. Wait. I love this. This is great. Fred, you're talking about everyone. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> love it. I just love chill moments like that, the friendship moments. They're the moments I just really love. I love how they just get that all the budget. This is where all the budget went into their fucking animation for the vaccine. Jesus, the facial expressions are really well done there. Look how shiny they are. <laughs> Do you not have butt cheeks? There you go. Wait, Suki looks. Oh my god, he looks amazing with glasses. Jesus. <laughs> Stay back, dog. We'll put up a good fight. Yeah, 
Yeah, but Nakamura's got a track record of beating the Curry Sue. <laughs> uh, I don't, I, mate. I, I actually love the fact that making Curry Sue not be the underdog for a change. Like we've been the underdog repeatedly, and now they're making out Nakamura. I want Nakamura. I'm like Nakamura's sick, mate. How can you talk him? <laughs> You're like, you are like Chris who's like, you keep the ball in game. That's like their biggest weakness. We want some camera to really enjoy a game, don't we? <laughs> gang versus gang. Oh, where's the end? <laughs> Why? That's me every night. Oh, <laughs> uh, calm. Oh, I'm so excited for this match that I'm not going to get for like a year or maybe five years. Oh, uh... oh, mate, I remember what I was watching Coach Donnie's reaction to this. It's so cute. Mate, they've built up these two teams so well. These have been like my favourite two teams to build up. I'm so excited for next game. To me, this is going to be similar to um, Kogiyama versus Ajoso. Ajo 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 you know the set, the Greater King Settler versus the uh, King. You know, sort of match. It's going to be this. It's going to be not his version of that. Oh, that was so awesome! <laughs> Mate, you know I was such a king this... Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited for this next match. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me just 10 episodes. Give me, give me another 10 episode match. <laughs> Mate, it's gonna be so hype. These two are definitely my two favourite teams. I could never get them wrong, I love the uh, Joe Sai, but fuck it out. Oh grandpa. Oh yay. He is a really good sensei, like G. Hmm. Ah, why is it the end? <laughs> Mate, don't want this to end. I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna, I just want to know next week I'm going to have a Haiku episode. <laughs> Someone just put, oh, you're going to know those are not cheeks. I thought they were the kneecaps of the girls. I didn't realise it was, not as bum cheeks. That's why I didn't say anything. I was like, fuck. <laughs> uh, how much of fun I had with this series. Uh, the fact that it's, actually, <laughs> it's near the end. Uh, the fact it's ended, man, for the time being. I'm excited for the potential future, but yeah. I want to see the season. I really liked it. I would say I'd even argue that I preferred it in some aspects. Like I think the actual amount of character development we got from in character moments in this season was massive. Obviously, it was twenty five episodes, so we got way more of that. Because um, obviously, it was only, season three was only ten episodes. But season three match, just ten episode match, was fucking awesome. But this one, I just fucking loved it. All the team, all the opponent teams, I ended up loving. Uh, we just had so what three seasons of build up for this one, yeah. The art and animation had some weak moments, but it wasn't anything really that bad. And it was only about two episodes, and even then, I wouldn't even consider them that 
there was two episodes that badly animated either. Like, the animation was fine. It was just some of the faces looked a bit jarring, which is not that big of a deal to me. I never really had a problem with any of that. So, yeah. Music was amazing. Sound design was fucking fantastic. Um, imagery was really cool. So, they did a lot more imagery this season. Like, like Tanaka looked with a cliff and him climbing up the stairs. They did a lot more of that stuff. And that's some of the stuff I really enjoy about Haikyuu is the imagery. And I think they did a lot of that this season really well. Uh, my tail has definitely changed. Um, I would say, what, well, he not a... Uh, do you know, should we do a quick tier list? I love my boy Dachi. Ah, Dachi. Ah, Dachi's the day. I love Dachi. I'd say, actually, he's my weakest of Korosu at the moment. Uh, he's not really had that many massive moments. Uh, sometimes I won't remember characters because the faces... Uh, I did like him. I think he had a really good moment in the show. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean bad. I, I don't think any characters in Haikyuu are actually bad. My boy, he knows me. Got some more faces. <laughs> God, there's so many players to keep track of. Yeah, I'm not going to go over everyone because I haven't got too much time. But that is roughly uh, my tier list, I think. That is a very fast one. I've done about five minutes. <laughs> but that's roughly how, how I like my characters at the moment. Left to right, uh, uh, left being my favourite. I've not really organised them properly, but that is roughly how I like my characters. These three are the best. These four are the best. Now I love everyone else. Oh, I love everyone in the S tier and A tier. D tier is the sort of ones I don't really remember very well. But I remember them, but yeah. Uh, as you know, I like her. But yeah, she's not my favourite character. Um, but overall, a fantastic journey with this season. But nevertheless, uh, I ha I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, no, I had um, I had a very good time with that. Twitter. I do hope to see you all in the future reactions. Maybe I hope to see you in maybe some of the other sports anime. Like I said, I probably didn't, probably I'll do some more when the time comes. But yeah, I'll probably do a podcast at some point, going into a bit more depth about how much I love Haikyuu. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction.